many attractions you'd commonly find in an urban city. We have sharp, uh, shopping, arts, uh, entertainment, thriving food scene with restaurants, ponds, constantly popping up all over the constantly. place. Constantly. But there's a hidden gem on the east side of Detroit that is beyond the ordinary, a honey farm in the middle of the city. We visited Detroit Hives to get a first-hand look at what's buzzing. One of the keys to not getting stung by a bee is to stay out of their flight path. So whatever we do, you see that their hives over there? We don't want to cross in front of it, so we're going to stay real close to the fence and walk over to Timothy. My inspiration for starting Detroit Hive was a developer code that I seen I couldn't get rid of. And I've tried almost every over-the-counter kind of medicine and nothing seemed to work until I stumbled across local raw honey. Since then, I began to research more about honey, and I thought it would be a great idea to bring this idea to the city. Honeybees have been around millions of years before humans, and their job was to cross-pollinate all of the fruits and vegetables that we see today. So without them, we'll, our fruits and vegetables won't grow correctly. Anyone that's afraid of honeybees, I want to let them know that they are gentle creatures. They only will sting you unless they feel provoked. If you do see a honeybee, do not swat at it, or do not run from it, just politely walk away. What am I doing with my life right now? I'm nervous. After that warning, Kyla and I felt comfortable enough to suit up and get up close and personal with the honeybees. But first, we smoke the bees. What we put in here is cedar wood, lavender, and this is what sometimes provides aromatherapy for the honeybees so that it's calming and relaxing as well. And relaxing the bees is a must when approaching the hive in the queen bee. Timothy, they look very excited as soon as they got that one little puff. Are we all right? Yeah, you're fine. But Timothy did warn that we can't be too fast with our movements. So this is the top cover. So you want to be very careful while working with the bees. Careful not to harm or hurt. We did a little maneuvering. Do the bees become familiar with people who come around them on a regular basis? Or Absolutely. Over time, they can get used to your scent, your smell, as well as your voice. Timothy continued to show me the layers of the beehive until we got to see the beauty and intricacy of nature in the honeycomb. This is amazing. It is heavy. Just one of these bots is going to be around 50 pounds. And when I asked Timothy, why create a bee haven in the heart of Detroit? Most honey farms are far out, maybe one or two hours away. I thought it would be great to educate the community as well as provide local raw honey for its residents. Isn't that amazing? Can you believe I did that? I, you went to put that suit on with Kyla and I was just like, nope, yeah, I'm, but... in, I'm out, <laughs> nope. It was amazing. That is amazing. very, very cool. And to think about it, uh, you wouldn't be able to have something like I don't know, edible arrangements True. Uh, without the bees doing all the work of the pollinating. You wouldn't have that beautiful fruit That's right. that comes right to your door. They're an important part of our ecosystem.